So this is a tutorial on how to remove the steel bracelet links without a link removal tool like this. So you should be able to use most kind of household uh, items like a, a pin or in this case a thumbtack. Uh, you can use things like a SIM ejector tool as well. This method doesn't work on every single strap because sometimes the straps can be, uh, well, the links can be really tight. And if they're really tight, a tool like this isn't going to work because um, if you put it in, it's just going to bend or break. So first of all, um, to remove the link, you're going to need to turn the strap to the back like this, and you're going to check if there's arrows. If there's arrows, that means the force needs to go to the left. So if you've got a pin, you're going to make sure that you're putting it on the right hand side and then putting the force towards the left like that way. If there was no arrows, you're going to need to look at um, the pins itself. So you're going to need to look at the ends here. So you can see these ends here are rounded. So these are all rounded. And then you've got these sides here, which kind of look like screws, but they're not screws. And so you're going to want to put the pin through onto the rounded side. And so what you're going to do from here is you're going to need to put quite a bit of pressure. Um, well, first of all, try to just use your hands. Sometimes they are um, held quite loosely and you might have some luck by just uh, pushing it in like this. And so you can see with this strap, it was super easy and the pins actually come through. So that's how you would remove this link. Uh, one thing to note is this bulged end here that needs to go back in the same way. So arrows to the right, so bulge should come through on the right hand side. So to put a link back in, you're going to make sure the bulge is on the right hand side because the arrows are pointing that way. If there was no arrows, you would then look at the, the screw looking end and making sure that is on the same side. And then you're just pushing through with your fingers. Uh, for the rest of this edge, you can just kind of force it on the table. Um, I can't put... You, what you would do is force it on the edge of the table, that way you can get the full force. I can't do it here on camera because it's held on a, um, on a mount but just put it on the edge of the table and then just kind of force it in. So all I've done is just kind of push it down on the ledge and now that's flattened in place. So sometimes removing the links isn't as easy as uh, just using your fingers. So you kind of need to create a makeshift um, stand. So what I've got here is two books. Um, these two books, uh, the, basically the base uh, needs to be pretty solid, so I'm using a, a set of books um, to suspend the strap. And then I'm just going to use um, two other ones to, to hold the strap in place. So basically what I've done here is create a little hole so that the pin can go through. And actually what I'll do is I'll undo this so that it's a bit... Um, easier for it to stand. So now what I'm going to do is get the pin and you can use a hammer or a rubber mallet to remove the pin. So you can see that, that pin has already started to come out and I should be able to remove the rest just with my fingers, just like that. 
So yeah, so it's pretty pretty easy to do um, as long as you've got uh, some basic household tools. This doesn't work in every single case um, because some links are really, really tight and cannot be removed just using these household tools. But most cases, you should be able to just use something like this to remove the links.